dance? There is still that off-the-record matter I'd like to discuss. Do you have time now? Off the record? That's not like you, Dance. Which is why this is going to be difficult to say. So, I'd appreciate it if you bear with me. When you were first placed under my sponsorship, I had some serious reservations about it. Despite all that, this has turned out to be a rewarding experience. For both of us. At this point, honestly, I don't feel like there's anything else I could teach you about being a Brotherhood soldier that you don't already know. It's apparent from your attitude and your actions that you intend to keep those ideals close to your heart. I'm flattered to hear this, but I feel like there's more. There is. I'm just not very good at these sort of things. Let me start at the beginning. I grew up alone in the capital wasteland. Spent most of my childhood picking through the ruins and selling scrap. When I was a bit older and had a few caps to my name, I moved into Rivet City and opened a junk stand. While I was there, I met a guy named Cutler. We got along pretty well. Watched each other's backs and kept each other out of trouble. When the Brotherhood came through on a recruiting run, we felt like it was a way out of our nowhere lives. So we joined up. I have a hard time picturing you as anything but a soldier. Clearly, I was ignoring my calling. Anyway, about a year after we were posted to the Pridwin, Cutler vanished on a scouting op. It took some convincing, but I was able to persuade my CO to let me assemble a squad search for him. It took almost three weeks, but we tracked his team down to a super mutant hive. Those wretched abominations had slaughtered everyone but Cutler. He should have been so lucky. The mutant bastards used their FEV to change him into one of their own kind. He wasn't Cutler anymore. I had to... It was my duty to put him down. Are you sure there wasn't anything you can do to change him back? The FEV effect is irreversible. There was nothing anyone could do. Hey, you did what the Brotherhood taught you. Then you understand why it had to be done. Ever since Cutler died, I've seen other soldiers come and go. Some were brave, some were honest. Hell, some were even downright heroic. But I'd never consider any of them to be a good friend. A friend like Cutler was. Until now. It's a good feeling, but it frightens me all the same. Having a bond with someone, then losing them. It changes you. I don't want to go through that again. It would never be that way with me. I care about you too much to let that happen. I... I didn't know you felt that strongly about our... Well, about us. I'm sorry if I seem... confused. You've certainly given me something to think about. I just thought you deserved to know how I felt. If you feel that I've overstepped my bounds, I completely understand. Whatever the case may be, I appreciate the fact that you took the time to listen. Paladin Dance. If you have the time to talk now, I'd still like to know what you think about Scribe Halen. She's as dedicated as they come. A real team player. I couldn't agree more. But I wasn't looking for an evaluation of her performance as a scribe. I wanted to know what you thought of Halen as a person. As a person? It's not like you to ask me something like that. No, it's not. The truth is, I'm worried about her. Since you and I are getting along so well, I felt like I could confide in you about it, to get your honest opinion. She seems to be able to handle herself. Why are you worried? Halen is a model scribe. This has nothing to do with her capabilities in the field. A few months before you found us, one of my men was shot multiple times by raiders. Halen stayed by that knight's side for two days straight, without sleep, fighting to keep him alive. But he was on a slow decline. I decided that his suffering needed to end and ordered Halen to administer an overdose of painkillers so he could die with dignity. Even though I'm certain she wanted to continue fighting for that knight's life. She injected him without question. She did the right thing. Of course she did. 
But the decision whether or not to ease that soldier's suffering isn't the point here. The point is what happened later that same evening. Halen approached me while I was on watch. She didn't say a word, but I could tell something was wrong. After what felt like an eternity, she collapsed into my arms, crying. I didn't know what to do, so I just held her for a while. A few minutes later, she stopped, kissed me on the cheek, and simply said, thank you, before heading back into the police station. Right then, it hit me. Maybe I pushed her too hard. I ordered her to ignore her instincts, to do something her medical training told her was wrong. That's why I'm worried about her, and for that matter, everyone under my command. Halen will be fine. It's you that I'm worried about. Me? I see what you're getting at. I guess I never thought of it that way. Look, four soldiers. Over half of my team are gone. Each one of them died because of decisions that I made. I understand the risks that come with the job. We all do. But how can anyone have confidence in me anymore? Hell, how can I have confidence in myself? The way you held Halen? tells me you care about them and they care about you i i never thought of it that way well it looks like things have taken a turn i signed up to be your sponsor so i teach you everything that i know but it looks like i'm the one that needed the lesson today all joking aside i'm pleased that we had this discussion and with all the problems you're facing you still took the time to listen it's comforting to know that i can speak to you as more than just your commanding officer Does this mean you'd be there to hold me if I ever needed it? I... Uh, I don't know. I, I never thought you'd ask me something like that. It would depend on the circumstances, but I suppose we'll just have to see what happens when the time comes. Anyway, thanks for letting me get that off my shoulders. I think it's been weighing on me more than I realized. I'm only sorry you had to see me at my worst instead of at my best. Are you okay, Daz? I'm sorry. I really thought this would be easier to talk about. There's so much I wanted to say, but I don't know where to start. Take it easy, Dance. Whatever it is, I'll help you work through it. I don't know if anything will help me work through it. I've spent my entire life, or at least what I perceive as my life, following a plan to shape my own future. But since my banishment, I feel lost. Almost like I exist without purpose. For the first time since that moment I signed up with the Brotherhood, I don't have all the answers. I don't have a plan, and it scares the hell out of me. It's impossible to plan your life. <laughs> hell, I didn't expect to wake up 200 years into the future. Yet you've been able to roll with every punch that's been thrown at you. Don't you understand? Everything I had, everything I knew is gone. In the span of a few hours, my identity was ripped from me and my world turned upside down. At least what you had was something tangible, something real. Your wife, your son. They were living, breathing humans who loved you and cared for you. Those sons of bitches who created me couldn't even be bothered to implant memories of having siblings or parents. I don't even know how much of my own past is artificial and how much is real. Can you even imagine that? I started out as nothing, and I've ended up as nothing, and I don't know what the hell to do about it. Didn't I already convince you that giving up was a mistake? You did. I suppose you're right. Maybe I'm just missing the point. My life's starting over. And I need to come to terms with everything I've lost and everything I've gained, which includes something important you've made me realize. I don't know if it's friendship or an anomaly in my programming. After all, I'm not really human, but whatever it is, I can't deny that I'm feeling closer to you than anyone else I've ever met. I feel the same way, Dance. I'm only hoping it's more than just friendship are you saying you're in love with me this doesn't make any sense after everything the brotherhood taught you how could you be in love with well a machine 
I don't care what I was taught. You're more important to me than any of that. I... I honestly don't know what to say. I didn't expect our conversation to lead to this. Look, I'm not gonna lie to you. You're going to have to be patient with me. Coming to terms with these, well, human feelings is gonna be a very difficult journey. But if we can tackle those obstacles together, I think that this relationship could last a very long time. 